So I've been a little slow in posting videos lately just because I've had to start a job. So, but anyway, I was just going to let you know what happened on this car. Okay, so the last thing I needed to do was change the air filter that led to the mass airflow sensor and on into the air intake system. So this made a huge difference right when I changed the air filter and I was really surprised. It ran really well for you know the first 20 minutes and then it started you know running rough again and I was getting discouraged but I I heard from another guy on on online he said that it takes 20 miles or so for the calibration or something like that or for it to recalculate I don't know what that meant but I was discouraged for a while but now it's running a lot better a ton better basically I learned that the mass air flow sensor is like 80 to 90 percent of the problem not the sensor itself but anything leading to the sensor like the air filter um, if it's dirty or if it's missing or if there's holes or if this if these latches are open a little bit it lets a little more air in or less dirt in so <clears throat> you either have to clean this sensor change the, the air filter clean it around in the box make sure it's all uh, flowing freely and then get mass airflow sensor cleaner and you could take that off and just spray it down and I have a video <coughs> about that so just make sure this is all taken care of first and then you can move down the line through the air system like the idle idle air control valve you can take this off and clean it make sure it's scrubbed down and uh, just making sure this is just clear so do that before you change the fuel pump or change the coil pla the, the coil packs in there or the spark plugs or or anything if you're going to do a tune up just go ahead and do that change spark plugs and all that stuff but don't do anything expensive until you've taken care of this cuz I'm going to put a link down below where you could find uh, some great resources of uh, professionals that are very detailed and they just tell you outright what it is instead of just hiding it so they can keep their business going, stuff like that. So um, go to the links below. This is my channel is more of resources, uh, a resource hub so you can come back and find more resources and uh, that, that I've researched and I've figured out where to go. So just come back and find those. But uh, this is 89, 80 to 90% of the problem is that sensor right there is just really finicky. So I, I just ended up changing the air filter and it started running, started running okay, a little bit better. I was a little discouraged because it felt like it was getting, it, it, it wasn't improving as much anymore after about five miles and then but I learned later also that after you change this and clean that, it takes about 20 miles or so before it starts recalibrating. And I, that was a little bit of information that was important to know as well. So once you get this cleared out, cleaned out, change the filter, and if it starts to improve, but then it doesn't improve that much after that, then uh, just keep driving around, see if it starts to improve. So I thought that was valuable information. Come back to this channel and find some more resources. It's an ongoing thing, so as I find them, I put them in my videos and down in the links below.